Christmas was cancelled. <laughs> You're dribbling a little bit, mate. You ended up having a fight with some woman. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new At Home with the Buckleys vlog. Hey, listen, this is what's going on. It's like a day after Christmas was cancelled. <laughs> We're sort of panicking because now we weren't supposed to be spending Christmas at home. We were gonna go and visit family. Obviously we can't do that now. I've just woken up, Claire's just woken up and she's basically ran out of the house because we don't have anything. We don't have any food, we don't have any turkey, ham. We're not prepared for this at all whatsoever. Claire's off to, I don't know, Asda or something. I hope she's not going to Sainsbury's because I've not budgeted for that. And if she goes to Marks and Spencer then we're I'm interested to see what she comes back with because I assume when things like this happen everyone goes mental and just buys everything. I don't know what we're going to eat over Christmas, I don't really know what we're going to do over Christmas. It's just going to be us in the house. It's not going to feel like Christmas, I'm a bit worried about that. Yeah, we're sort of scrabbling around for this vlog, I'm not going to lie to you, we were supposed to be somewhere different and with more people and it was supposed to be a bit more interesting. But like the rest of the country, Christmas is cancelled or the plans for Christmas was cancelled. You can never cancel Christmas. And uh, yeah, even though it was a bit of a blow, I'll, you know, I'll admit that. It's taken the wind out of my sails a little bit. Obviously you have to give yourself a shake and say, right, you gotta get on with it. But it is a bit depressing. <laughs> it is a bit depressing. It was like a, it was like a final straw. I felt like with this pandemic thing that we were seeing some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. And then, oh my God, it's super COVID. It is what it is. It's the boys I feel sorry for because we've never spent a Christmas just us, just the, just us four, just the family together. Usually there's grandparents, there's aunts, there's uncles, there's cousins. That's what makes it feel like Christmas. At the moment, Christmas Day is just going to be another day, the same day that we've had every day, pretty much during 2020, which has been us four locked in a house. <laughs> I don't think whinging about it's going to help. I don't think whinging about it's going to make a good vlog. Sorry. But you know, I'd rather be sick of COVID than sick with COVID. It's a good saying. I think I've just come up with a, a skinner on a t-shirt. Quick, write that down. Who am I talking to? No one. There's no one here. Let's find out <laughs> what Claire brings home from the supermarket. So are we going to have a, are we going to have a Christmas dinner? Yeah. So I've got, I've got loads of stuff for Christmas, like the Christmas period like little cocktail sausage. What, you asked me to get them? No, I'm just thinking about a Christmas period. Red wine, don't know anything about red wine, but I had a skeleton on it, so I liked it. Got to get Jesus a nice- Jesus Christ. Come on, you got to get a nice champagne for Christmas. Some J2Os for the boys. This is their little, they call it kids beer, so that when we have a little cheers, they've got a little glass bottle. Favourite is Verve Clico. As you can probably tell. They're all empty though. <laughs> they are empty. But they're nice boxes. Yeah. And then we keep the uh Because we've got like some cool tins, like a little mailbox thing. So if I give like my sister in law a bottle of champ a bottle of this champagne, I'll put it in one of the nice tins. Are we scum? No, scummy. <laughs> We're not posh, are we? That's no. for sure. <laughs> are our kids posh? No. They no, not? they're not. They live with us. Yeah. Right, got loads of dips, Doritos, Christmas chocolates, celebrations, all that sh That's my dinner for Christmas day. <laughs> Sorted. British turkey and stuffing pasties. Okay. I don't know, I'm just trying to get, just trying to get Christmassy. Was there a lot of empty shelves and stuff? Um, yeah, there was some. It wasn't like, the big lockdown, what it didn't look like that. But yeah, no, it was quite sparse. Spartan? <laughs> yeah. Got your mates, Rose. They're Paul Hollywoods. Speaking of which, I think we're going to do a bit of baking, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to. I'm going to teach you Great British Bake Off champion James Buckley, star baker. No, I don't know if I'm champion. No, is you're going star to... baker of an episode. Yeah, well, how many episodes have you been star baker of? Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to bake a cake a little bit later, so look forward to that. Now, I think I've made a mistake here. Go on. I've bought a pork shoulder joint. It's I not think the same thing. No, you're supposed to. 
Yeah. Join. Yeah. So. We'll be all right. I'm just pleased that there's food here. Yeah, that's true. I, I honestly was thinking we might just be having smiley faces and beans. You would love Christmas. that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I say thinking, I meant hoping. Yeah. Got some um, profiteroles. Oh, now them's I do like. By the way, can I just say, we do have reusable bags, but I forgot them, so sorry. There's a little American bit in Sainsbury's. So I grabbed a couple of little American-y things. Batteries mm -hmm. for Christmas Day. These are the wedges that everybody loves. Oh God, they're great, these Sainsbury's. wedges. If I'm doing a barbecue or something, you chuck some of these in the yeah. oven, don't you? They're so and nice. People though. go mental, they go, God, where'd you get these from? They are good. Did you get any smash? No. Why not? Because I'm not having smash for Christmas Day. Oh, tea. I love smash. I know you do. Yorkshire puddings. Oh, what? What? Pre-made Yorkshire puddings. Wow. Oh, You're not making your own? You're a rubbish mum and you should be ashamed of yourself. Shut up. Listen, we're vloggers now, okay? We're supposed to show people our perfect idyllic life because we're so perfect and happy and everything works out for us. And that's uh, exactly, and these will work out because <laughs> I won't make them. Got some uh, tonic water. Oh yeah. Now speaking of being posh, we do always get the posh tonic water. It's got to be fever tree tonic water. It's got to be. Cheap gin, absolutely fine. But if you use a cheap gin and put fever tree tonic water in it, it makes it taste so I think, much better. I think everyone knows that now, don't they? This is one of my favourite things. Pour it over some chips, grate some cheese, chilli cheese fries. Delicious. Carrot and coriander. That's the one. You shut up, Paisley. <laughs> and I saw this, thought that would be fun if we do that. Chocolate chip cookie dough. And that's it. It's a lot, but it, I bet it won't last that long. Yeah, I don't know if it is a lot. Oh, you got my favourite biscuits. Yeah. Best biscuits. biscuits. <laughs> best biscuits. <laughs> it's not best kids. Best biscuits. So that's us ready for the most boring Christmas there will ever be. Right, that's the food away. Jesus, cut camera. 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 It doesn't recognise your face, Claire. Oh, I don't think you've got a soul. I like your jumper, by the way. Thanks. I was wearing my one in the last vlog. We're very on brand, aren't we? Was yeah, there any we? fights or anything? Um. There wasn't a fight, but I had a little... Oh, you... you I always... Yeah, you can't... You can't just let things go, can you? What? Last time during lockdown, and you went to the shop, you ended up having a fight with some woman. What was that? I can't remember. You was on your own, and you ended up having a row with some woman over something. I can't remember that. You can't... You got the call case coming up. <laughs> Well, the thing is, we were supposed to go up to Scotland. There was going to be loads of us. We were all going to be together. But it's not going to be like that. It's going to be really boring. It's going to be just us four here. We'll be fine. It'll be fun. Listen, we're very lucky that we've got us four. I'm sure there are, you know, there's going to be, it's going to be so hard for some people who can't get to see family and stuff. And that's the people that will really be struggling. I was going to have a haircut as well before we went to Scotland. Not going to bother now. The, the one thing I'm worried about is Christmas dinner because Usually my mum does it. No, but I'd be worried if you, if there was other people. But it's not. I know, it's but I still us. want it to be nice. I know, it but I still want nice. it to be nice. There'll be meat. But I brought, I bought the wrong, I bought the wrong bloody ham But we've got the meat coming. The Auntie Meat's going to bring oh, us some yeah. meat tomorrow. I think everybody's feeling a bit sorry for us because we're stuck down here ourselves. So yeah. she's managed to get me a delivery of some nice big bits of meat. I've come up with a new Christmas song. I don't know if you've heard me singing it. Oh, James. Christmas time, everybody's feeling festive. Now, I genuinely think that that could become a standard. Christmas time, everybody's eating food. That's already Christmas. a tune. Is it? No, I think I think you just think it's a tune because no, it already tune. sounds so well established. Do, 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 do. And that's a tune. Christmas time, we're spending Christmas alone this year. Christmas time, I'm so glad you got the wrong ham. That's gonna. I'm so sick of this. 
Does that stink over there? No, it doesn't stink. And do you know what? You're hurting my feelings a little bit. Shut up. All right. Sometimes you accidentally do a little fart, and you want to move on from it. But you, you don't accidentally do it. And you feel embarrassed. It. That was an accident. You don't accidentally do it. That was an you accident. Don't You're sitting there with your legs open, just letting it out, and that... it's disgusting. I'm, I am embarrassed, and I, I, I gotta be honest. You kept all those farts in from the first vlog, and I am mortified. I was really hoping that you wouldn't do that to me. You've made me look a fool, and I've never looked a fool <laughs> on television before. <laughs> People may be watching this when they're eating. Well, then I apologise. I'm sorry. But you fart a lot as well, and no one ever has a go at you for it. I don't fart a lot. And even when I do, mines don't stink out a whole room. If you, if you do it again, you are in trouble. No, I was my... St I'm telling you, there's something going on. I think I'm hungry. I think it's because all that food turned up. <laughs> To drink now. What are you for? Is it midday yet? Yeah, it's gone midday. Are <laughs> you gonna start drinking? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. No. I'm just gonna get pissed. Christmas time. Everybody's feeling happy. Christmas time. It's the greatest day of the year. Christmas time. Everybody sings to angels. Christmas time, Jesus came again. You know, again. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why have you framed yourself right in the middle when you're sort of kicking me out? I don't know what you're talking about. Ow, you are! Oh my god, everything about you is just dramatic and annoying. <laughs> James, that, it's that's the beer. Thing. Claire, it's the beer. Right, but you can't just keep doing that. It's gross. You're right. We've got some fantastic news. We were supposed to be going up to Scotland for Christmas, but we're, uh, we're all on our own. Paisley, will you be quiet? I'm about to put you in the cage because we've got a load of meat here. And I know that you'll nick it all. Um, but check this out. We've had an SOS package from Scotland Because we didn't have any food. We didn't have anything to eat. We didn't we didn't know what we were gonna do for Christmas So check this out, right? Boo, yeah What we got here? We got some pork belly. We got some oh, Some steak pie some authentic Scotland's favorite steak pie um, Some beef short ribs. Don't mind if I do some square sausage Definitely need square sausage. It's more beef ribs. Got some sirloin steak, some rump steak, a sirloin joint there as well. Don't forget the tatty scones. Well chuffed with that. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Most of this I quite like to put on my smoker, the Weber Smoky Mountain. But yeah, Christmas is saved. It's baking time. Well, let me just say this. When we said we were gonna bake, I meant like a packet. Oh, I thought we were going to do some proper stuff. I'm used to, because I, I don't know if you know this Claire, about me, but I actually won a start celebrity Go on. British Bake Off thing Thank one you. time. <laughs> I've had a shower. You have? I haven't. I like a little Betty Crocker one. These are, these are good. They're easy. They're still delicious. They're always very moist. They don't dry out, but nothing does around me. Um, All right, I need a bowl. Let me get you a bowl, my lady. No, I'll get it, because it's okay, the Okay, sure, yeah, you get Are it. Are you gonna lie right in the middle, Paisley? All right, bowl me. All right, I'll take care of this. This should be easy for me. Right, what do we need? We okay. need some eggs. We need three we need, eggs. You need your wet mix. We need 120 ml of vegetable oil. Got loads of olive oil. Did I chuck it out? There's no vegetable oil. I think it might have been out of date when we cleaned out the cupboards and I chucked it out. Will olive oil be alright? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it'll give it a weird taste. I don't think this is gonna work. With olive oil? Yeah. Okay, so 200 and no, 120 ml. Right, open that. I and mean, this isn't baking, this is just opening a box. 
Yeah. Oh, I know what I need. What? A beer. A beer? Yeah. Would you like a beer? Sure, why not? Well, here's a question. Do you want to make one big cake or do you want to make cupcakes? We'll do one big cake. One big cake. Right, you open this. Do you want to pour it in? I feel like I'm cooking with Harrison and Joe. Is this supposed to sit in? Nah. Right, then pour the oil in. Just trying to make sure it gets the all oil in. in. Right, the oil's in. Right, pour the water in. Three eggs. I'm a very good egg cracker. Go on then. You were trying to do it with one hand there. I saw the panic because you got to the point where you had to open it. <laughs> very good egg cracker. You, ne you never get any shells or anything. You got to, you got to pull a little bit. It is it's you can't teach it. Basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, now we need to whisk for two to three minutes until smooth and creamy. Mm. And I'm assuming you don't have the stamina for this. Claire, you know full well I don't have the stamina. <laughs> Paisley, excuse me. Thank you. You done with this? Yep. Can go in the dishwasher. Okay. You want to pour it? Um, do I? I don't know. It feels like something I should probably do. But it does feel like something you should do. I'll end up Go on, getting it on the floor it. or something. Well, how much goes in? Well, I'll tell you when. Keep you go. Well, all of it's gone then. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're only going to need one of these tins. Shall I pour it all in? Yeah, pour it on. And that's it done? Sweet. Mix, pour, bake. 160 degrees for fan assisted ovens. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, Claire? I just brought back a memory. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't want to let people into that world. Do you, does anybody still watch The Inbetweeners? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, let me know as well. <laughs> right, we'll get this in the oven. We'll get it out. We'll have a look at the cake. Bosh, you might have another three minutes of vlog content. Up up. Come on. Up up. Come on, we always tell there you There you are. Oh, don't grab a knife. <laughs> what are you doing? There she is. Okay. Oh, hi Harrison. Okay. Hi. Hi Jude. Hi. Seven. Seven minutes. Yeah. Alright, we're getting there. It's a little bit better. Still not great. <laughs> it's hot. Let's do five. Oof. Let's see. <coughs> Jesus. Uh, another five. It's because the door doesn't shut. Yeah, we've got an oven where the door doesn't close properly. <laughs> we've got fire that doesn't work. We've got an oven where the door doesn't shut. We've got underfloor heating that won't turn on. Oh, I just bought some Cadbury's pre-made icing. Here she comes. <laughs> she had something opening. It smells like chemicals. Oh, God. I don't think we're going to use this. We don't need this, do we? We don't no. need to be piping this show in here. You pulling it out? Pulling it out. Where's the cooling rack? Jesus. Get it out here. Hey, watch it get stuck to the cake tin now. Eh? Yeah, of course it will. It's risen quite well. Yeah. Oh, shit. Not a lot. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Slackery. I think it'll be all right. Okay. I think it came straight out. Oh, boom. Okay, so we'll let that cool. They're watching the chase. They are watching the chase, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to set it out the way of Paisley. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is rubbish. Really rubbish. It's icing time. 
Is it cooled down enough? Yeah. Oh. Stress pick. Just like yeah. What? <laughs> what do you mean what? It's a child staring at us. What do you want? Chocolate cake. There's nothing here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Well, you've done it. I've not done it. You have to put it all over the sides. Oh, that's too much. Right. Oh! Right, so I've ruined the cake. <laughs> A little bit broken off here. Yeah. I'll just do this, shall I? So I don't think anyone's been able to see this cake so far, but it's fascinating stuff. Right, who wants a bit of cake? Me! James? Yeah, I'll take a sliver. Now this should be good, because I made this with a bit of help from your mum. These chunks are huge, Claire. Come Are you over there? I'm just gonna have a little bit of your slice. <laughs> Harrison. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jude. Oh. Oh, that slice is big. <laughs> it's a good bake. Is it? It's a good bake. <laughs> good? Yeah. Harrison? It's cooked all the way through. I, I like how you made it so it's hard on the outside and spongy on the inside. Mm. That was on purpose. Do you like it? Yeah? Yeah. I told you that, honestly, the Betty Crocker box bakes are always really good. Wait, wait. It's meant to be an ASMR. Bye! <laughs> well, um, I have one more thing to tell you. Is it going to be a fart? I'm gonna set the table for Christmas Day. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got your bone. There's he sit. Good girl. So just prepping now. Just getting rid of all the COVID off the table. <laughs> it's a good table, that. We've had that table for about 10 years now, and it was supposed to be just with a quick fix. The idea, yeah, we bought that table when we first moved in because we needed a dining table and we thought, oh, we'll get round to getting a better one soon. And we never did. We didn't need to. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's just a table. I painted the legs black when we got new chairs. Yeah, you painted, we got new chairs and then you painted the legs black. There you go, I'll just repeat what you said. Classic cloth. <laughs> she dropped that on your toe. Oh, yeah. Paisley, you silly thing. Yeah. No, I don't want to do anything. I don't care about this. I especially don't care about your little wicker placemats. Oh, now that's Christmassy. Ew, Paisley. You're dribbling a little bit, mate. Four plates. That's is so sad. Um, our little cookie plate for Santa. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, Chris, isn't it? We leave that out for Santa, don't we? Yeah. He scoffs down those cookies. We leave a little carrot out, of course. Of course. I watched Zoe Sunk doing hers, and I always like watching that stuff, so. Yeah. Ours are probably a lot nicer than us. Of course it is. Well, Ted Bundy thing away, it's not very really Christmassy, is it? No, although that is what I bought you for Christmas last year. <laughs> See, yeah. people always think I'm so weird, I've got all this weird stuff. You buy me at all. It's because I know you like it. I Little Ted Bundy coasters. You yeah. freak. <laughs> What's this? Crackers. These are the worst looking crackers I've ever seen in I my life. I thought they looked kind of cool. What? My napkins are quite tradish. Right, let me have a look at these napkins. I'll be, I'll be the judge of these. Merry Christmas to one and all. Right, well that's... That, that's not what it says, so read it again. Merry Christmas to one and all. Not what it says. Merry Chris... Oh, Happy Christmas. Oh my God! You see, you just see what you want to see. You hear what you want to hear. That's because nobody should say Happy Christmas. Right, pass that to me. Why? So that you're in it a little bit. I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be in this shit. The table looks good. 
Now what do we do for the rest of the day? Just what wait for it? Christmas now. Paisley. Biting me. Ah, Christmas call. Merry Christmas. Wait, I've not done my hair. What are you doing stuff? <laughs> so we're doing a little bit of vlogging on Christmas Day, aren't we? Yeah. Merry Christmas everybody. Poor old Paisley. I know, but it's only because I need to let this rest for 15 minutes. That's the only reason she's in her cage. Otherwise there would be no Christmas dinner. What's on the menu? So we're doing pork belly. <clears throat> And we've got steak pie, and then potatoes, carrots, Brussels sprouts. What? I. What? She wants it. All right, let her do it. You put a little black dress on. Yeah. Well, you know, I just thought I'd try and make myself feel as if. I've made an effort. You've made an effort. Shall I show them what you're wearing? I look great. Christmas. Started supporting the Browns this year and now I'm their biggest fan. <laughs> oh. These are the earrings James got me. And the necklace. You want a little champagne maybe? You want to open the good one? Uh, no, we won't have a good one yet. We'll, 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 yeah. Yeah. Santa's been. The kids have opened all their gifts. We've exchanged gifts. We um, oh, yeah. did some FaceTime gifts with my mum and dad. Looking forward to this din though. Ooh! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas if Blair doesn't get me some Forex gold. Half of Australia love me right now and the other half go, oh no, why are you drinking that? What are you drinking that for? Cheers. Cheers, just enough time to have some champagne. Yeah. Merry Christmas. So this is the state of the living room right now. Santa's been. I got this, a barbecue branding iron. Originally Claire bought one of these for our neighbour John. And I was like, oh, that's really great. Good for him. <laughs> you were a bit jealous, weren't you? Yeah, good. He'll love that. He'll really like that. I wish I had one of those. <laughs> uh, Which I, is basically what you said. But I got one for Christmas, so. You can put like James's steak on it and stuff like that and brand the steak. Got a Funko Pop. Maximus Meridius Silius. Wastus of Monius. And I've been looking at this all morning. I got this. Jurassic Park is my favourite film. And I got a framed movie poster that we're going to put up in the kitchen at some point. I got a candle for my office. It's a little Stella bottle that's been sliced in half. And I first thought, oh, does this candle smell of Stella? Yeah. It doesn't. It smells of lemon. It smells really nice. But I would have liked to have had a candle that smelled like Stella. I the viewers can smell it. I know. It's a good job the viewers can't smell these vlogs, I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And your jersey, I And guess. my jersey. Goff. The quarterback. quarterback. Yeah. They were good crisps. Remember quarterback crisps? Yeah. They were like cheese balls. Yeah. They were really good. Yeah. It's yeah. really good texture. If you've got like a moist one full of flavour. Oh, yeah. Like coated. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, we should try and bring something in. Well, we've got to have this crap that you're serving up now. <laughs> Some turkey and mistletoe. Oh, my clock! Oh yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. James got me that and I've, I've always wanted one of them. Vintage. Oh, I love it. It's very cool. How are you getting on? 
I like that one. Absolutely. Christmas dinner update? Um, we've turned that round. I'm now putting the steak pie in. So we're sort of halfway there. That's my goose fat ready for the roasties. Right, James, I need 45 minutes on the clock again. We're back in the kitchen. How's it all going, Claire? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've had three glasses of champagne. I've not eaten a single thing, so I don't know. <laughs> Do you want another glass of champagne? Yeah, why not? All right, I'll go and get you. <gasps> Wait, did the 45 minutes go off? No, not yet. No, right, okay. Ooh. Feels like everything's coming together, Claire. Not bad, not bad. It's got a good gravy going on at the moment. So this is the juice from the pork. And obviously we've got carrots and onion a couple of apple slices and a couple of rashers of bacon and then we've added some flour a little ham stock and now we're just sort of mashing it all up and then we'll sieve it into the pot we're almost done <coughs> Woo! these carrots are looking caramelized that's good whoa We've got cheap pots. Okay, I think we might be done, Jimmy. If you set that on the table, that's the mash. Sweet. That's the pork. And that is just a proper gravy. Well, that is, it's like that's what's left. That's where we made it from. All the stuff from here. It's dinner time. Pork belly done. Roast potatoes done. Right, you can stick stuff on the table. Pigs in blankets with some maple syrup. Steak pie. We've got some lovely carrots. Claire's got her Brussels sprouts. This is the thing that I'm really proud of. This gravy. Oh yeah. This is proper gravy H bomb. Now I don't have a gravy bowl. I forgot a gravy yeah. bowl. Well you didn't forget it, you broke it. Christmas is ruined. She didn't get us a gravy boat. Well there we go. That was a little vlog for you. Thank you for watching this. Um, hey, we're still um, learning about what to keep in and what to edit out and things like that. And uh, I think this vlog might be a bit long, but like I say, they'll get better. Well, it's longer because we were supposed to do a load of stuff, obviously got cancelled. So we decided to carry it on into Christmas. It's now Boxing Day, well, Boxing Night. And... We're just sitting down, the kids are playing with other toys, we've played some family fortunes, and... Yeah, you didn't need to say and there, did you? You didn't need to. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll have another vlog soon, I'm sure. We've got lots of boring stuff to keep you up to date with, and um, hopefully, you know, we might actually get to do some interesting stuff one of these days. But thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you weren't too bored. If you did like it, make sure you give us a like. If you didn't like it, do, move on. No, 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 do still give us a like. I, yeah. That would be really nice. That would just be a nice thing to do, <laughs> even if you didn't like it. And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and comment. We read all the comments and love hearing from you. And I'm sure we'll be back with another vlog. Vlog, I've had a few Baileys very, very soon. Bye.